Thank you, Jesus. No more chains are holding me. Amen. I heard James play this song Tuesday, and it did something to me ever since then. Amen. So we're going to do that together if you don't mind. Amen. 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 Amen.
disciples were going to Matthew. Hallelujah. Yes. Hey, God. Matthew chapter 27. <laughs> Bless his name. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter number 27. We're going to deal with verses 50 through 53. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 27, verses 50 through 53. When you have it, you can say amen. amen. Verses 53 and 54, or maybe we should say 52 and 53, mm -hmm. are going to be our main scripture text. Okay. Matthew chapter 27, verses 50 through 53, verses 52 and 53 are our main scripture text. It says, Jesus, yeah. when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain, or it ran in two, from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake, oh bless his name, and the rocks rent, which means they cried. Yeah. And the graves, listen to this, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves, catch this, after his resurrection, and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Their graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. And they came out of the graves after his resurrection, and they went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Today I want to preach from a subject entitled, They Came Out of Their Graves. They Came Out of Their Graves. You may be seated in His presence. They came out of their graves. Can someone say that? They came out of their graves. Today's message, friends, is the final message of this year's series, What Happened Next? And I want to make the distinction of this year's series because if the Lord shall say the same, I want to pick up from where we leave today, next year. After we celebrate Easter or Resurrection Sunday, I want to preach uh, this series again using different stories or different happenings after the resurrection. Uh, I truly want us to know what happened next. Because it is so important, amen, to know, appreciate, and understand what happened next if we're going to understand the New Testament church. Because the church as we know it is a result of what happened next? We as a body of believer, we, we are who we are and, and we, we stand where we stand because of everything that happened after of the resurrection. Uh, it is after the resurrection that we get our mission, our goal, our purpose. It was not until Jesus rose from the dead that he tells Amen. The disciples to go ye therefore into all the world. Amen. And to teach all nations and to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We we got our job or our mission from God after the resurrection. Amen. Pentecost is next Sunday. We will all wear our white and we will praise God for the Holy Spirit that fell in the upper room. However, you cannot truly appreciate what Pentecost Sunday means to the believer unless you first understand what happened next. You, you, you can't shout and dance on Pentecost next week without knowing of the things that actually led us up 
to Pentecost. Do I have a witness? Yeah. Amen. Because the truth of the matter is those 50 days or those 40 days, amen, in between Easter and Pentecost, they, they were not short of miracles. Yeah. They were not short of great exploits. Jesus was on the move, Brother yeah. Tim. Yeah. Amen. Acts 1 and 3 says, to whom also he, meaning Jesus, yeah. he showed himself alive after his passion or after the crucifixion and resurrection by many infallible proofs being seen of them 30 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Jesus showed himself alive in many different settings, in diverse ways. Amen. Jesus showed that he was yet alive. And this year I was unable to articulate or share everything that happened after the resurrection. But hopefully next year I can do a little bit more justice. Somebody say amen. 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 Friends, our text today speaks of two events. In the beginning it mentions Christ's final bow uh -huh. and the release of his spirit. Yeah. In the same breath it mentions the aftermath of his resurrection. Yeah. Listen to the text. It says Jesus when he had cried again. With a loud voice. He yielded up the ghost. And behold the veil of the temple. It was rent in twain. It was torn in two. From the top to the bottom. The earthquake and the rocks rent. That all happened prior to the resurrection. But in the same verses. The Bible says. Then the graves were opened. And the many bodies of the saints which slept, they arose and they came out of their grave. But catch this, when did it happen? After the resurrection. After the resurrection, dead men, women, and children who were believers, they came out of their graves. Before the day of Pentecost, believers, amen, who were dead, they came out of their graves. Before 120 believers gathered in a familiar place called the upper room awaiting the promise of the Father, the saints of God, hallelujah, that were dead, they came out of their graves. Before the Holy Spirit fell in that upper room, amen, the blood-washed individuals who had dared to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible said they came out of their graves. Before Jesus ascended or returned to the heavenly father, the redeemed, the sanctified, the born again believers, they came out of their grave. This was the glory of the resurrection. Saints who had died, saints who had gone on to eternal rest, those that were resting in the bosom of Abraham, those that were asleep, awaiting the second return of Christ. The Bible says they were awakened in an instance. Their cold, hard bodies, they warmed up again. Their blood began to flow. Their eyes were open. Their feet and their ankle bones received strength. And they rose out of those graves. And they presented themselves alive to those that were in Jerusalem. Oh, do you hear what I'm saying today? Friends, those who had died after the resurrection of Jesus, the Bible says that the graves were open and many bodies of the saints which slept, they arose and came out of their graves. Those who believed in Jesus, they were taken by death. Death had stole their opportunity to live. They couldn't enjoy their family, couldn't laugh with their friends, couldn't embrace each other with hugs and kisses. Hallelujah. They had died. Yet the Lord Jesus Christ with his good self gave them another opportunity of a lifetime. When he rose from the dead, so did they. Their graves were open. Oh, I wish I had somebody to help me here. Their graves were open and dead men, dead women, and dead children they got up with the power to walk around Jerusalem. And let me set the record straight. They were not walking as dead men or zombies. They were not in a mummified state. They did not look like the walking dead but they were walking as flesh and blood. They were walking alive. Their skin was intact. Their eyes were no longer 
were sealed. They were just like you and me. Their grave clothes were dusted off. They came out of the grave and were found walking among the living. And this is important for everybody in here this afternoon because it gives us a glimpse into what will happen for the saints who have gone on to be with the Lord. My mother and my father, my grandfather, some of your fathers, your mothers, your sisters, your brothers, your cousins, and maybe even some children or close friends. We will all get the opportunity, like those in the text, the saints will rise again. Oh, y'all didn't hear what I just said. I said the saints will rise again. Maybe I need to say it a little louder. I said the saints will rise again. Their graves will be open. And they too will walk the streets of that new Jerusalem. Declaring I am alive because of the Lord Jesus Christ. There won't be any more death. There won't be any more sorrow. There won't sickness. There won't be any more illness. There won't be any more disease. Our graves will be open and we will come out of those graves. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter number 21 and God shall wipe all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall any more pain for the former thing. Oh, glory to God, it sounds like to me, amen, that a day is coming when those of us who have believed in the Lord, those of us who put our trust in God, will be on the top once and for all. We will be resurrected, given life eternal, just like those in the text. Our graves will be open and we'll come out of those graves and we'll declare, I'm alive by the power of Jesus Christ. Somebody ought to give God. Hallelujah, they came out of their graves. Yeah. I said they came out of their graves. Yeah. And Sister Dale, me and you too. Yeah. If we got to go by way of the graveyard, yeah. we going to come out of our graves too. Yeah. And that's something to shout about. We got something to rejoice about. Yeah. If you can't think of anything else to thank him for, thank God that your grave is going to open and you'll rise from the dead. That ought to be something to give you some cheers this afternoon. Yeah. To know that God loves you enough that he won't allow your soul to stay in hell. He won't allow a dark hole to overcome you. You will return and come out of that grave. He will allow you. He'll allow your grave, my grave, their graves to be opened and we will work with him in paradise. Yes. That's something to shout about. Amen. Especially considering the recent events. Yes that have happened around in New York and Texas. Uh -huh. To know that some beautiful day. <laughs> oh glory, I said it's a good thing to know that some beautiful day, those students and teachers in Texas who were saints of the most high God, they will rise from their graves and walk with Jesus again. Those saints who are casually grocery shopping in Buffalo, they will one day, oh bless his name, receive a promise from the Father their graves will be open and they too will walk with Jesus Christ. Those saints in Ukraine, hallelujah, who are dying by senseless violence in Russia, they will be raised and they will come out of those graves. Those cancer patients, those that suffer from dementia, those who pass from Alzheimer's, they will be lifted from their graves and presented alive to live with Jesus Christ. Those saints who died from heart attack, high blood pressure, HIV, AIDS, drug overdose, old age, alcohol poison. They will all get up, hallelujah, out of their graves and walk with Jesus again. Yes. Yes. The graves will be open. Yes. And they'll come out of those graves. Hallelujah. And that's something worth shouting about. Yes. Come on, come on, let's take a minute this afternoon and just thank God for resurrection power. Come on, let's thank God for assurance. Come on, let's thank him for the promise he extended to us. Come on, put your hands together and thank God for the opening of graves and the rising of the dead for those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. See, my friends, the day is coming.
coming. Yes, and I need you to get this and you don't get nothing else. Uh -huh. Bro, Tim, the day is coming yeah. when nothing, somebody shout nothing. Nothing. Nothing is going to hold the saints of God down. Nothing. Right now, trouble weighs us down. Yes, sir. Trials weigh us down. Yes. Circumstances beyond our control, they weigh us down. Yes, and ultimately, death weighs us down. Our feeble bodies, they succumb to the issues and sicknesses of this life. Yes. However, the day is coming. Yes, sir. I said, however, the day is coming when death itself is going to have to lose its hold. Death is going to have to lose its grip. Because just like those in the text, our graves will be opened. And we will rise in the power of Jesus Christ. I wonder, do you believe that today? I wonder, is that the promise you've been waiting on? I wonder, is that your hope and your plea? If so, come on, take another moment and just thank God. Come on, thank him. Thank him for that treasure. Come on, clap and shout loud. Thank him for that assurance. Thank him that your grave is going to be open and you will rise again. Thank him. You see, friends, a message like this got to be in our minds always. You got to understand, amen, that death is not the end for a believer. But I feel like preaching a little while. I said death is not the end for a believer. You got to understand that death, amen, is not the end for those who've been blood washed. Yes, Jesus said, I am the resurrection yes, and I am the life. Yes, Any man that believes in me, though he was dead, yet shall he live again. Yes, My friends, you got to understand that death is not the end for those that have been redeemed. Yes, we have a blessed hope beyond this world. Yes, 1 Corinthians 15 19 says, if in this life, yeah. Only we have hope in Christ. We are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that are asleep. For since by man came death, yeah. by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so Christ shall be made alive. In other words, if dead men can't be raised, that means Jesus was never raised. And if Christ Jesus was never raised, then we're wasting our time coming to church every Sunday. And to make matters worse, it would be worse, and it would be a waste to even hope for a resurrection after we die, because everything was a lie. If all we get out of Christ is a little bit of inspiration for a small, short time, we are pretty sorry. But the truth is, Jesus did get up. I said the truth is that Jesus, he did get up. He was the first to get up. And he left a legacy for everybody in the graveyard. Yes. Hallelujah. Death came by Adam. But the resurrection of the dead came by Jesus Christ. Everybody dies in Adam. But everybody can live again if they accept Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall never die, but they shall have yeah. eternal life. I feel like running this afternoon. Why do you feel like running, Pastor? I feel like running because the saints of God. Yeah. We're going to rise again. Yeah. We're going to get up out the grave. Yeah. We're going to have eternal life with Christ. We're going to live in paradise forevermore. Our graves will be open. We will rise again. Who are you talking about, Pastor? The blood washed, the sanctified, the set apart, the saved, the Holy Ghost fear, the believers of the Lord. Our graves will be open. And we will rise again. Catch this at the side. Death won't hold us down. Lord, help me today. Death will lose its grip. It will have to surrender and become helpless. Death won't have any power. Jesus will snatch back the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And we will rise. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. We are the sons of God. Yes. Y'all hear what I said? Yes. yes. I said, we are the sons of God. Yeah. And it does not yet appear uh -huh. what we shall be. Yes. Oh, but we know when he shall appear. Yes, We're going to be just like a yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. It's going to be a glorious day. Yeah. Grandma going to say, a great getting up morning. Yeah. The chains and shackles of this life, they're going to be loose forever. Yeah. The weights and bondages of this life going to be loose forever. The many burdens that I shall Yeah. 
Pastor, how do you know that? Yes. You speaking pretty strong like you've been there before. Uh -huh. No, I ain't never died before. <laughs> I ain't never had to leave that way before. <laughs> but I heard what the Bible said. Yes. Uh -huh. Bible said, Behold, yes. I'll show you a mystery. <laughs> we shall not all sleep. Yeah. Lord, I feel like preaching here. Yeah. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Yeah. How soon is it going to happen? In, in. in a moment. <laughs> in the twinkling of an eye. And the last trump for the trumpet shall sound. And the day shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall all be changed. Catch this. The corruptible must put on incorruption. The mortal must put on immortality. And when this corruptible shall put on incorruption. And this mortal shall put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the sin that is written. Yeah. It's swallowed up. Lord, I feel like preaching in here. It's swallowed up in victory. I got a question for Brother Death. Oh, God. Where is our sting, Lord? Oh, grave. Where is our victory? But thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know about you today. But that blessed hope is sending shields down my spine. It encourages me when I get low. Yes, yes. It lifts me when I get low. Yes. Makes me want to run around this church screaming Woo! to the top of my lungs. Yes. Because I understand that one day, one day. the enemy of death, yes. the adversary of death, yes. the plague of death, yes. the death that no one's likes, yes. the death that took my mom, yes. the death that took my father, yes. the death that is tried to take each and every one of us. One day hey. it's going to have to bow yeah. to the awesome power of Jesus Christ. Death is going to have to give in. Death is going to have to submit. Death is going to have to acquiesce. Death is going to have to concede. Death is going to fall victim to the magnanimous power of Jesus Christ. And can I tell you something? I'm good. But can I tell you something? And y'all don't tear this church up too bad. <laughs> but death, it won't have no other choice. <laughs> Lord, help me today. I, I, somebody missed it. Can I tell it again? I said death, it won't have no, no other choice. And so my question for death today is death, you might be running around rapid right now. Death, you think you got us with COVID. Yes, Death, you think you've been a bad man for thousands of years. Yes, but one day, one day, all of the saints of God, yes, we're going to look back at death yes, and say, Death, yes, where is thy sin? Great, where is thy victory? We're going to look at the whole uh, and say, Thanks. <laughs> under God, which giveth us the victory. I got to leave y'all now, but just like those in our text today, their graves, they were open, and they came out of their graves. I want you to know, we too will rise incorruptible, will be raised will be raised as sons and daughters of the Most High King. We're coming out of those graves. Brethren, I would not have you to be ignorant concerning those which are asleep. For the dead 
the church has a blessed hope. And the blessed hope of the church is that he will, he will. come back yes. for us. Yes. He ain't gonna leave us down here to suffer. You ain't got to worry about it. You just in the meantime just need to ask him to show me the way. I'm down here, Lord, and I'm all by myself. Just please. Show me the way. Stay to your feet.
where is that victory? We love you today and we praise you always. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Prepare your hearts to give. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Say amen. Come on, bring your gifts in the name of the Lord. 